40 plus um, is my purpose and what I've gone through. I'm really, I feel I'm beginning to live. The thing I'm most passionate about being a 40 plus woman is I survived my 20s. I am most passionate about life. I'm passionate, I think, at this point in my life um, about fulfillment. I'm very passionate about loving myself. Being 40 plus, I'm most passionate about still looking young, I should say. As a 40 plus woman, I am most passionate about giving. I feel the most passionate about coming into my own. As a 40 plus woman, I'm most passionate about helping other young ladies, women, girls. The thing that I'm most passionate about is making other women better. As a 40 plus woman, I'm most passionate about growing. What I'm most passionate about being a woman that's 40 plus and wonderful is that I've learned to live past my pain. I think my, my vulnerable moments as my journey is always my children. Whenever I, you know, speak of my children, that is probably the most vulnerable moments for me, is my three kids. In the spirit, I heard a voice that say, who do you want to help raise your children? And um, I'm actually thinking about that. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm being drawn closer to the light. But then I hear the spirit of the Lord say, you don't serve the kind of God that will allow you to have a baby and then die. When I would hear his voice, it's slow. I slowed down. I, I just thank God for him being there with Khadijah myself and being able to raise her and do what I'm supposed to do and, you know, um, I mean, it's, it's a whole lot I can say about my daughter. She's beautiful. She's wonderful. And I just said, I used to tell her, it's you and I against the world. We got to prove everybody wrong. And she and I, we did that. And we had a tightest bond ever. I love that girl with all my heart. She is like one of my lifelines. I went from having billboards and buses with my picture on it, along with the rest of my morning show at the time, to being in the unemployment line, seven months pregnant. Um, you talk about really being, or feeling like your lowest low. I have a young son, I have a 11 year old son that is so dear to me, and he watches my every move, my every step. And he showed me what love is. He loves me unconditionally. Love that I've never had before. So, um, so, so this car accident I was in at, at 17, I, um, I had two reconstructive surgeries. I have scars on the whole right side of my body. My arm was disconnected. My foot is scarred. My skull was crushed. My brain was swollen. And the whole right side of my face was, was reconstructed. If my story will change anyone's life, I want you to know that you are not alone. That no one else understands, outside of my celebrity, outside of my last name, I am woman, you are woman, we are one, and we are strong. Three words that describe me would be Ambitious, caring, and fierce. Ooh, three words that describe Dream Kelly. Fearless. I'd also have to say joyful and hood, because she don't fly. I would say the first thing would be confidence. The second thing would be um, grateful. And the third thing would probably just be to loving myself, self-love. If I had to narrow it down to three, I would say she is passionate, um, she is spiritual, and she is a creative. Three words that describe Tina Campbell. Passion, love, the three words that just
describe Charlinda uh, would be strength, honesty, I guess loyalty would be with honesty. Um, I'm so gonna pick another word. Um, I have a big heart. Three words that describe Sky Wonders. Determined. The second word that describes me is passionate. Third word that describes Sky is I'm a nurturer. Three words that the one describe me would be honest, nurturing, and beautiful. I would say three words that describe me is love, number one. The next thing would be loyalty. I would say the third thing would be victorious. Three words that describe me are passionate, curious, and happy. I would have to go with the consistent word that I hear is very humble. I would say the second word is cool. And uh, the third word, I would say, is loyal. Three words that describe today. I must say, I'm an overcomer, I'm strong, and I feel beautiful. So, beauty, and not just outer beauty, it's inner beauty. I finally love myself.